were fun with like worlds or some mm -hmm. big pro event because it's always interesting to see how people copy the meta how people exactly, kind of yeah. divert from the meta interesting picks and I feel like people just get a better idea of what's strong and what they want to play. Exactly, because you have such that large sample size of pro play to pull from. And so it's going to be very interesting to see what the teams end up doing. Yeah, exactly. We should be getting into draft fairly soon. And here we are. Look at that. It's just that simple. That was so Asking you something. Oh, yeah, yeah. The camera's ready, Zach. Uh, camera's ready. Yep. It's so hot. Yeah, you definitely checked every single scene that had the camera in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, we'll make this work. I can duck under. What's better? No, I like... Just don't show your eyes at all. <laughs> there we go. All right, you know, I got some... I think by days. week five, this would be figured out. But... Well, that, that, and you move the table. Uh, Zach, is the camera all set up? Like, oh, yeah, I checked everything. It's all good to go. You can cr wow. You crouch on my chair. Look at that. We already had the scene. <laughs> oh, and it's hey. still not cropped right. What are those champions? What? <laughs> Yeah. I, okay, it's a little bit better. I just crouch on my chair like yeah. this. Like a sit up. Little goblin. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so talk. Let's. Okay, so fiddlesticks banned out. Graves and Pike. All of those bands seem to be somewhat targeted, just because they're not the most meta. No. Yeah. Um, Definitely trying to get some tar some target picks out of there. J four though, gonna be a nice substitute for that fiddlesticks. Really yeah. ho solid engage. Really good early game too. Yeah. It's a and solid has been super popular at Worlds. Yep. Pretty much pick band champion. Uh, pairs up really well with the Rakan, Rumble, mm -hmm. and Oriana. Yeah, exactly. Champions that have been popular. So. Ton of soul lane prio, ton of bot lane yep. prio. Just really fantastic. First pick champ can never go wrong with it. Sejuani. Sejuani is the response, you know. A solid overall champ. Yeah. Uh, not that same power level as a J4, but, you know, a decent response. Yeah. No, absolutely. Still, still a good <laughs> champion uh, for sure. And we'll Headed see what they off. we'll see what they end up pairing it with. Does well obviously with the melee solo lanes. Yeah. Able to proc that passive. Exactly. And again, I think you know it's not it's not like a it's not like an insanely favorable matchup, but I think it's a pretty good matchup. They're gonna blind Nautilus here, which you know, you get a lot of solid engage, but it is a little rough to blind that. Yeah, I think phase. it's a pretty bad blind. I mean, may, the maybe game. they're picking it because they're expecting the Rakan. Yeah, uh, Nautilus possibly. into Rakan is a good matchup. But, however, you can just answer with something like Ash, Renata, does really oh, well yeah, into yeah. that. You can't uh, do anything. Barom, again. You know, Any uh, Ash lane is going to be an absolute cancer for a Nautilus to deal with. Yeah. Goes for most melees. Ash is just one True. of those unplugged it's champions. So, yeah, it's very annoying. Uh, so they're actually going to answer with Sivir. Interested to see what they pick here. It could be Renata. I mean, that does well. Braum would be another good answer. Definitely. Um, Either of those would be extremely solid picks. I mean, right. assuming they pick support here, I would, I mean... Yeah. kind of crazy if you didn't. I don't know why you would just opt into a solo lane. Yeah, unless they're looking... Uh, there are... I mean, there is like Oriana, mm -hmm. which has just been such a broken blind pick. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So we'll see if they do that. Thank you for oh. the follow. Oh, oh, looks like we got some nice spam oh in goodness. the chat. Very That's good. That's pretty promising, Very though. Very good. Viewers, followers, views, chat bots, etc. The price bots? is lower than any competitor. The never. quality is guaranteed Whoa, to be Whoa, twisted best. fate. Uh, huh. You ever forget a champion exists? <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden somebody picks it. And then it. someone picks it. Yeah, that's I interesting. Mean, like, I think Twisted Fate Blind is, again, really bad. There's so many things that yeah. come up into it, so they're just going to pick Ash. That's I not mean, Twisted Fate support or anything weird, is it? That it would could, just that be... That would be sick. I don't think it is. No. I feel like Ash into Jarvan, though, is dicey just because yeah, there's, he... as if Flash is ever on cooldown there's really no oh, way you're 100 you're just done. you have no you have no tools to escape right exactly and especially with tf yeah um that pairing tends to be pretty annoying and i mean i don't think like i think it's a pretty good lane matchup but later when you're trying to ult onto sivir like she just says spell shield yeah and... exactly it's gonna be very difficult so, rumble band you know we've seen that champ yeah, just absolutely jarvin. dominate you gotta get that out of there like yeah Rum rumble jarvin that's been a strong combination for as long as legal legends has existed yeah just when those champs are in and out of the meta determines if you pick it or not right exactly uh talon coming off of the milio coming off um yeah very interesting pick ban you know the support pick still up at this point in the game you don't really see that too often uh, it's just gonna be interesting to see what they do with this tf pick i mean it's you have, I mean, it, are they just putting all their eggs in the mid lane basket to carry the entire map? I, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. Right now, it seems like damage might be a little low. I mean, you have a lot of setup, yeah. but 
Sivir takes a while to scale. Yeah, it's so. going to be interesting to see what they pick top lane, see how they can round yeah, that out. Yeah, kind of round that out. Yeah. Yep. And Poppy off the table as well. Really good ban there. Really mm -hmm. a hard counter into the J4, getting that off the table as a possibility. Yeah. No <laughs> Probably going to be a mid lane pick here. I'd be surprised if they saved that, considering we already see the Twisted Fade. Yeah. The Twisted Fate as just a blind on three is so surprising. It's very to me. bizarre, isn't yeah. it? There we go. And there we go. The Orianna pick, you know. Oh, so they're actually going to pick the Orianna. I mean, yeah. It, oh, oh I mean, yeah. That's that's good into Twisted Fate, right? I'm, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, think I don't that's think good. Twisted I, Fate can ever I, kill him. I, I think I remember that matchup from back in season two. And yeah, <laughs> Kasten was a counter. Yeah, I, I think. Can Kasten still interrupt I, channels with. Um... Yes. Okay, so yes, this is just. Yes, can still interrupt channels. Interesting. I don't understand. Rakan into Nautilus is Why not just, very good for Rakan. Is Twisted Fate that much? It must be just part of this guy's pool, like that they're going to ban it. Yeah, and the Cassante, I, I do like the Cassante to round it off. I mean, all around, their team, damage wise, looking a lot better than I thought it would with the Cassante thrown in there. They have yeah. engaged. They have engaged for days. They do. Uh, I think it's still on the low side, to be honest. Well, yeah. But I mean, six item Sivir, you cannot deny that that's still going to be a powerful yeah. champion. But I mean, that's any AD in the game, so right. are you even saying anything at that point? Right. And uh, the Garen response. Let's go. Okay, this, this, I like this team. Season two or bust, baby. <laughs> it's actually it's just it. Four it's season champ. two is the oldest champion that's in this. I like lobby. the way. I love it. I love it, dude. Bring yeah. League back to its roots. Really simple champions that can do half the things of a normal champion yeah. or a current champion. But they and just ult you in one shot you. Yeah, dude. Very cool. I mean, you know, I could see either team winning this out. You got a ton of damage. You know, it's not damage isn't that high, actually, with the Ash cast. I guess <laughs> it's really not that high. I, both teams kind of don't do damage. Yeah. Um, I guess it's weird because like you got the Garen who can snowball, but then you got the Cassin who wants to ramp. The yeah. Ash that kind of mid game spikes. I I don't know. Yeah, I think the Cassidy and pick is honestly just bad, and they should have played Oriana. They, they could have played a lot like more up tempo yeah. if they had Oriana or something that can just make plays in the mid game. Whereas with Cassidy, you're basically just waiting for eleven sixteen in order to even be a champion. Right. Right. Uh, with that being said, I think also like uh, if Blue Side had just picked Fromm or something or Renata, they would have been in a much mm -hmm better situation as well. Oh, 100%. That would have denied a lot of the engagement, especially somebody, a champ like a Garen, uh, you just have no, like, really way into the fight. You know, the, the Brahms going to completely kite you out. A lot of melees on that side is but four melees. Brahms really good into any melee matchup, just the amount of kiting right. and zone control that you have with that champion. But yeah, interesting to see both sides playing a very, very, very passive level one. Just guarding their entrances. Um, junglers are going to have same start. Looks like they're oh no, J four is going to be starting on the blue blue as well for UMass. Yeah, the very standard jungle pathing going on here. Nothing I'm surprised crazy. that both junglers are just pathing the top. Uh, oh, oh yeah, you think uh, J four is going to do the three camp into top? Oh maybe. Okay, so he's yeah interested to see. I mean, he could. There's no reason why he can't. I think a lot of J4s do do three camp, if I remember correctly. Yeah, maybe he'll just clear top bot, top camps into bot as well. I mean, that's yeah, that, that's oh. also a possibility. He's. Uh, I don't know how this matchup. Go I feel like Garen might run it early. Yeah, I think it's good for Garen. Yeah, it has to be right. Okay. I hope it's good for Garen because he last picked. Yeah, Garen yeah, it, <laughs> it better be a counter. All oh, right, honestly, this is not yeah, nothing yeah, really happened. Not yet. a great trade, but a little bit of discoordination there. Could have went on Ash together, and yeah, not not the best, yeah, but you know, just a uh, just early game trades, not that impactful. Yep. Casting is going to be kind of hanging out here. Hopefully, Twisted Fate doesn't annoy him too much. Going to look to just scale into this wave, looking decent for me. Just catch all of that. Garen going to catch this wave as well. And yeah, pretty pretty boring early game. Junglers are resolving their clears right now. Looks like they're just going to go full clears. Uh, no early game anything is really going to happen at this rate. Like, just going to yeah. be a pretty boring game. So, I mean, the Raptor War does pay off big there. I don't think it, it looks like anyone scouted it for mm -hmm. uh, the side of Blue Team as Jarvan gets spotted. So they'll know he's on the bot side. They're just going to take a base. Yeah. So Dwani gets so spotted. So also spotted. So, well, yeah, so. good wards on both sides to get yep. that information. Yep. 
So no early game ganks are going to come through. Though Sejuani does does bite on this again, but has to know at this point that there's vision. Or the Twisted Fate just has godlike instincts. Yeah, Twisted Fate is down in Siesta despite That doesn't make any sense. Around. Yeah, that, that champion has every tool in the game to see us. That's, yeah. You're a ranged champion against a casting. Come on now, come on. You can't be fumbling the bag like that. Yeah. You got some minions here, yeah. so he's going to catch up slightly. Oh, he's... He MD'd like the one HP caster. Yeah, what, what, what are you doing there? You're saving that for the cannons, man. What the heck? Well, okay, so MDing the casters is good because you know how it like increases damage. Well, that's true. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's just so you can like red card Q the wave, but I don't. You don't want to do it on that minion. Yeah. It's okay. Happens to the best of us as Sejuani makes her way to the top lane. This time, not over a ward. Yeah, He's gonna go in. Here we go. Effective. Mobby gonna flash burn. Miss the. It misses the, the e Q. Really, really well played by the Cassante yeah, I mean, to sidestep yeah. that. Doesn't have to blow a yeah. single summoner to get out of there. Just really understanding the limits of his champion and uh, Sejuani not coming out with anything. Yep. Um, we'll get the recall off. Cassante kind of has to respect this. Going to play a little bit further back on the wave. Bot lane, uh, still pretty much a snooze fest. Both sides pretty much completely even. The waves are pretty much stacked the exact same. It's, nothing's really going on there. Maybe, yeah, yeah Jarman gets a bit of a tempo advantage from how much time Sidrani wasted, but there's a not bit, a whole yeah. lot to do. It looks like he's going to go contest this Gromp spawn, so we'll see if actually anything comes of it. Sidrani's walking over a yeah, ward here, and the there's a level. does have the push here. Yeah. And there's a level advantage for Jarvin, so we'll see if he'll actually be able to go for a kill. And oh, early smite, oh, early that... smite. This is kind of a disaster, but overcon misses W. How do you miss W oh, there? That's that rough. is interesting. It, it will be the Gromp going over there, no yeah. smite, but could have possibly been a kill. I don't, maybe the knockup doesn't even kill though. So Juani does have the flash it to be able to get out yeah, of there. I think it would blow flash. It would, blow flash. it would definitely blow flash. Yeah. But still, still a good invade. I mean, they get the Gromp. Yeah. Uh, so, Jarvin's going to have a nice little tempo lead up near 10 CS. Yeah, a really good first back there. Yeah. Gets the entire item there. So Dwani only sitting on Boots and Ruby Crystal. So going to have a yeah. little bit of extra damage on top. So we'll see. I mean, we'll see how Hotspot plays it. They're on a really great window to just have their back lane base right now and then go for Dragon as Jarvin clears down the bot. So Dwani is going to be down about a level, Jarvin. Um, we'll have the item advantage and the tempo advantage on this bot clear. So they're going to base right here. Head on back to lane as Garen and Cassante yeah. getting into a little the action. They goes used to be through. careful yep. as Garen pops down the ignite. Cassante's got to be careful, though. Flash Q ultimate is almost certainly enough to take him from yeah. that HP. Yep. So it's just a matter of knowing your limits at that point, responding with the flash immediately. Yeah. TF has a window to maybe ult yeah. onto his bot lane. He's walking in into fog. We'll see if they sniff this out as their bot lane gets back into lane. It, it looks, looks like, like they, they have, yeah, they, they have. Ha they had an inkling of it, yeah. It looks like Casting called that one out well enough. Uh, so they still, I think they still have a really good window to go for Dragon right now as their enemy bot lane is basing and mid has push. I just realized that we couldn't hear in-game noise, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Like, is it pings? We're hearing something. Oh. Well, anyways, back to the action as the bot lane scuttle crab is going to get contested. It looks like blue team's going to wrestle that away from Sejuani. Looking to go invade her blue buff here. We'll yeah. see if anything comes of it. TF is walking down into the river. Has six. Maybe the beginning of a skirmish here as both teams start to square up it looks like a 4v4 Cassin comes over the wall just kind of looks to zone them away hook in from the nautilus is going to miss go into the wall nice stun's going to come down Ooh. flash away from nautilus gets out of the flag and drag in goes for a con sedwani is going to get taken down for the first blood and that will be dragon coming off the heels of that as well you know really interesting play nautilus looking for the engage it's either the train or the silver spell shield. they couldn't tell which one it yeah. was but regardless just it's very hard if you're a Nautilus to get an engage against the Sivir, just because if the Sivir has any kind of wherewithal, she just takes it, right? Procs her shield, and there goes all of your engage just out the window. Oh, and Cassante, Cassante died just top. got solo killed. I mean, that's that's what we were saying, you know. At, and look at it, it literally happened, Garen. Yeah, flash Garen, I, yeah, yeah, just flash Q ult. You know, <laughs> if you just have enough damage, boom, you're dead. Uh, Cassante didn't even bother blowing flash. Probably, I mean, probably just died the silence combo <laughs> yeah. is just enough. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I think a little bit of a greedy fight from UMass to take that uh, blue buff. Yep. A skirmish. Uh, just stronger I mean, spike. Definitely right now. An, an advantage though for that gear on top. You know, you get yeah, the full no, it's the, huge. the full boots is going to be huge. In oh, that but it looks up. like they want to get something back oh, here. Siver's in trouble. Siver is going to spout shield early. A nice hook from the Nautilus is going to land as they go for the stun. No now six for the is going to come out, and here comes a TF in response, looking to maybe get something back. Stun's going to go on to the Ash. Doesn't have a whole lot of nope, follow-up no damage. No real damage though. here. Yeah, flash Recon. forward three. Ooh, beautiful knockup knock from the Recon. But is the flash damage there? From the TF to follow is going to put the kill over to Recon. Huge play right there. Yeah, Recon picking up both the kills so far this game. Not ideal, but I mean, yeah. he made the play there, so really nice attempt. The casting comes here a little bit too late with the yeah, teleport. Yeah, the casting and not, not gonna, is kind of weird. A little bit little bit late. Uh, wants to clean it up, but yeah, you're just not at that point. You're not even dealing enough damage to kill yeah. the Sivir at that point. Yeah, and you should have just went back mid and shoved mm -hmm. that out, denied TF some... Uh, oh, the right flashless here. Garen, they're going to capitalize on that top lane. Yeah. The uh, the ult from the J4 Ooh. does zone out the Cassante. So because of that, Garen's going to get out of there. Cassante uh, did not get into the pit. Yeah, Cassante has flash, so you kind of... He should have commit. Yeah, you have to get... Yeah. That's a dead Garen if you yeah, just land your whole kit. Right, the, the, and then and they're just doing rift. This is such this a is, greedy That rift is girl. cringe. Yeah, it, this, is, this is very... Good play Very by the J4, not going over out. the wall. So he will get out here, most likely. Cassante wants to pick a fight here. Here comes the Twisted Fate on the backside as well. The ultimate comes through, but the damage is too much. The ultimate pops from the Garen. He's going to survive. Twisted Fate about to fall as well. And an absolute disaster play right there. Greedily going for the Rift Herald. But this fight is still somehow going on. Kasten finally picks up the kill. Rakan's here, but just a little bit too late. And J4 getting a little bit too cocky there. Trying yeah. to take the Rift without I the Pryo. Mean... Yeah, it's a bit of a horror. I, like, you go for the top kill, and I think maybe the thought process was that they chunked out Garen mm -hmm. so they could go for Rift without Garen him being care, able But Garen doesn't care. He has a broken passive, and it yeah. also meant that Jarvan used ultimate and himself got chunked out uh, pretty significantly like in, in the way. You're not waves. going to damage check a Garen when he's right, up the, exactly. those items. Like, if he's w running at you in the pit, you're toast, and that's what we saw right there. Yeah. Just burst combos him down. He just lives with barely enough HP. He gets out of there. That's a really, really nice fight by UMass getting a nice little window back into this one, picking up a couple Yeah, of I mean, kills. honestly, I think that's huge. If you look at the game right now, Garen is up two kills plus 10 CS. And you gotta look at it this up. way. Rakan has both yeah, the kills exactly. on the other team. Yeah, so, no. like, that's a ton of gold just kind of thrown into the crapper, for right. lack of a better term. Yeah, no, exactly. And this, ca I mean, this casting is up a kill and 10 CS over TF. Yeah. And is still scaling into the game. is not looking yeah, too good right now. Exactly. I think Sivir is up, I mean, almost 20 CS right now on the Ash, so that mm -hmm. I think is a is a little bit of a bright spot. For definitely a bright spot, and the Sivir spot. will scale if she if you allow her to get to that point in the game, so it's nice to see that she's getting a little bit of an advantage for herself. That being said, though, the Ash will always be relevant in this right. one. She has the arrow. She has tools to engage for her team. Speaking of an engage, here comes... UMass looking for a play down here. They back off, though. Just get a little bit of River Pryo, it looks like. Yeah. My only thought, though, is honestly, <laughs> later into the game, I wonder if uh, Hotspot even has the damage to kill the front line of UMass. It's, yeah, it's going to You know, be Sivir does a lot of damage, but, like, Garen and Cassidy and yeah. Sifrani, I mean, all those... And, and Sivir, Sivir's should... got to ramp up, too, when right. you have, like, right. the ability to just sit there and ramp. Right. The Rift is going to be getting some plates down in mid here. Good gold over to the Kassin. Yeah. Very loving to see that. Uh, and top lane. A uh, oh, bot looking like some action happening, but also on the other side oh of the map. Oh, my God. All over the place. Top Ash lane is, is going fighting. To Ash is going to go down. down. Yeah. So shut down on the Kassante into the Garen. And then another kill goes over to Rakan. Traded back. And actually, just so much chaos happens. Yeah, so well, Jarvan dies, Sivir dies, Garen dies, and Ash dies. Mm -hmm. It's Rakan picks up another kill. So literally every... Mm -hmm. Every, yeah, nearly every kill. <laughs> yeah, kill except for Rakan. that one kill top. It's all going Cassante's way. So yeah, and I think TF rough. is just dead here. Has exhaust, is going to pop down. So, okay, we'll live the gold card will come yeah. as well. So he's going to survive that. But Garen pretty much throwing away his lead on top. We don't really like seeing that. Garen does not like being behind a Cassante. That's going to be a miserable matchup for him if he falls any further. Kind of throwing away his lead there a little bit. Well, they have a play on this mid. It looks like J4 gets a little bit of damage off. The Cassidy kind of in trouble, but has the Rift Walk to be able to get out of there. So uh, 
doesn't really amount to too much. They defend the tower. The siege ends there. And uh, it's interesting to see how this top lane evolves, uh, Garen giving over that shutdown. Yeah. Yeah, I, I still think Cassante is going to have a lot of trouble. I... But we'll see. I mean, he's he's in a great spot. And honestly, so Jarvan looking to go for this dragon here. It's a little bit greedy, but they do have a good timer on recalls. Cast yeah, in the basing right now with no TP. No, I think it's uh, very but solid. They're they do doing have... it on award. They are doing it on award, but it looks like there's just not going to be any Yeah, they just don't have the, they don't yeah. Pry they don't all have, the yeah. support and jungle are just too far away. They're just going to have to give that one up. Right. And they, they look for a Jarvis fight Jarvis doesn't want to end here. I think this is maybe a bit of an overstep, though. We're yeah, going to W. The TF all comes down, looking to follow up. But where's the damage? The card on to Sejuani, but yeah, like you said, where is the damage? Flash away from Sejuani. Now TF is finally there. Big double knockout from Rakan. Oh. Ash is here, spitting down damage. Jarvan's going to also then flash fight. away. Here comes Kassadin. Can he find anything? Go Goes in. Sivir looking to ramp up your shutdown oh, onto J4. the Rakan. Oh, J4! Huge play by J4. Now Ash is forced to flash away, and Sivir Jarvan oh will survive the, the fight. The Gore Drinker proc yeah, there killed two huge. people. That was absolutely Gore massive. That fight looked to be absolutely terrible for Hotspot to start off. Looked absolutely like an abysmal yeah. fight, but they just pulled that one out and at I, the end. Huge I think, play by J4. Yeah. Good call to go in there and, and actually... you know, have the confidence to pull the trigger on that. You definitely see, I think, a couple of things going wrong. Kassadin just not having a whole lot of damage. And then some kind of iffy target focus. Yeah. So many targets got taken really low, but weren't able actually to focus down a single target and, and find a kill there. Still really well played by the side of Hotspot. Great skirmish. Uh, helps them come out on top. And the sh the Rakan shutdown actually went to Nautilus. So both supports yeah, just go. KSing every possible valuable kill here. Uh, Sivir is going to pick up a kill, complete that static shiv, so she'll be in a good spot. Mm -hmm. The same is definitely very even. Here comes J4 on the yeah. top. Can they succeed in getting the kill onto the Garen this time? Yeah, I feel like flash. he's almost certainly going to go. But here comes Sejuani coming in. The damage is going to be huge. Oh. Garen pops the ult. That's going to be enough. And he oh, flashes, he flashes away. away. Huge. He's gone. Yeah, he he's is gone. gone. And that is a successful counter gank by the Sejuani. And I Can think so, I think that Jarvan might be dead here. Yeah, he might be. Here comes the cast in and as well. Every time J4 goes top, this doesn't tend to work out. Here's yeah, Twisted Fate. Funny. The damage might not be there, though. They are able to get out with their lives. Here comes Nautilus, and what's stopping them from diving? Yeah, here? they might just go for the dive. Nautilus is going to hex yeah, flash over. Lands the Q on the wall. The and ultimate. Buffered out by Jarvan, yep. The damage is going to be there. Cassidy picking that one up, and just a disaster play by Hotspot. Just backfiring right in their faces. Yeah. Cassante gets the recall off, going for the TP up top. Um, the damage might be there. They might be able to pick off a straggler kill here. The Garen, though, <laughs> he's just getting the tower. He doesn't care. Tower's dead. He's almost certainly going to get out here. One more hit is going to do it. And, oh, just barely doesn't survive. The damage there, Cassante is going to go off and clean this one up. Uh, Sejuani trying to get the TF kill, but at this point, it's just counting seconds before she goes down. Another kill goes over. A double kill for Cassante. And the, look at that. Hotspot just turns it all around. All that gold on Cassante is going to be absolutely huge. Yeah, <laughs> so it's it's a little bit of a game of who can throw harder. Uh -huh. Kind of tossing the ball back and forth there. Hotspot goes in for a little bit of a greedy play. Top dies for it, and then UMass just throws him a bone right back. Why did Twisted Fate TP top? What uh, does that accomplish? I don't know. He just I think I guess he just wants to shove out this wave so they can do rift. Rift. Hit okay, I guess for yeah. rift prior, that's not even that bad. Yeah, he'll get the top wave shoved out. They'll get rift. They do drop a mid wave in response, and Cassidin needs to be a little bit careful. He's gonna rift walk out. It looks like he'll escape with his life, but Sivir there, not able to really do too much. No. And after all that, Hotspot will come out with the rift herald, so they get that back for them. I mean. You know, this game, it's just its just too close to call at this point. Hotspot with about a 1k gold lead right now, but that can sway yeah, at any point. Right. And so, like you said earlier, so much of the gold is actually on supports. its I'm curious to see what the breakdown of, like, mm -hmm. kind of Ralph and carry gold is. Oh, sorry about that. We lost mics for a second there. 
But yeah, here we are back into this one game. Still close as can be. The Garen, 3-2 and two right now, has the Stride Breaker. You're going to be able to chase down anyone on the map. Stride Breaker, Garen, you know, really, really fun. He just gets on top of you, slows you. You just get spun down to death. I don't know if oh. fun is the right word. Well, yeah. It's fun to play. It's fun to play, <laughs> yeah. Just play. turn right your now. brain off and run at target. It's very, very fun. Yeah, valid. Uh, but here comes the Drake spawn coming up in 10 seconds. Hotspot has the stack going for them. They get the stun onto the cast, and nothing really comes of it, though. Throws a Q. They get a ton of damage off onto the Sivir, but I think Kasten might have gone a little bit too far. The stun is going to land, and that's going to be Kasten going down, but no, he has the Rift to get out of there. Damage is big, but Ooh, Ash will pick up the kill work. onto the Rakan, and this fight is looking horrible. Cassante's in the middle, takes the Nautilus out of the fight, but can he navigate this one? I don't think he can. Another shutdown going on over to the Ash, and that is going to be a 2 for O oh, with the Dragon spawning, so the Dragon stack will end. UMAT's going to be picking this one up for them themselves yeah you see how much work the rift maker garen does into the low range comp of hotspot just oh, standing yeah. on all of them getting so much value with the e spin yeah e stride is just it's just insane man it, now if you think there's any other item to build on garen but stride break you're out of your mm. mind that item has so much value it's just you basically are allowed to get your entire combo off anytime you're on somebody it's like somebody is dying yep in this case poor Khan just gets demasian justice right to the dome yep Blown up. So they're going to trade mid tier one for Dragon right there. Pretty good. I mean, honestly, good pretty good swap. Yeah, it's yeah, a good consolation if you're hot spot right there. Breaking that early mid, especially with TF on the map, is really valuable. Ooh. Unlucky. Yeah, a little bit of, gonna be a little bit inefficient. You know, that turret can sometimes move on. Yeah, I get yeah. it. The hitboxes are a little deceptive. Uh, I mean, go, I mean, again, we go back to the gold here. It's still pretty much bang on even here. That two hundred gold 200 separating gold, the yeah. two. Yep. Kasten's starting to scale up though. He's at level thirteen. He has, he has both level his up. ramp items, yep. so that's going to be absolutely massive. He has the full seraphs. So only four more stacks on his roa. Like he is, he's in a great spot right now, and he is. He basically passes power trough at this point. He's just counting the seconds till he hits sixteen. He can absolutely annihilate a fight. Yep. Exactly. Interesting build for Sidwani. Oh, yeah. The, he has CDR boots yeah. and Bramble. I mean, I assume he's getting Sunfire, but... Yeah, just... The Bramble is kind of weird. Yeah, you're getting a, getting a little lost in the sauce there. Got a lot, yeah. couple... Too many extra components. I, I just, what's the Bramble really doing there? I guess, Sivir, you're pretty much guaranteed to get... Some. Yeah, but it's just like the healing is kind of... Eh. Yeah, it's just like, is there any healing to begin with? Uh, can I ask them picking on Cassante here? I... I don't think that ever resolves. Yeah, I mean, I it's pretty hard for either of them to die. Yeah, exactly. Now they're going to kill each Ooh. other. Kasten kind of li likes it, though. Yeah. The damage is there, but okay. so I don't think he wants that in the long run. Because Kante can kind of just toss you around a little bit. Do good burst himself once he ults. Yeah, a little bit of a... a yeah, Kasten's got to be careful here because the rest of the team is here. He has the Riftwalk to get out. Yeah. Rakan has the W, but the damage just isn't there. There's no range to get under that tower. Uh... Garen doesn't care about this uh, twisted fate. He's gonna take all the CC. He's just like, yeah, whatever, dude. I'm just running out of here. Stride breaker, whatever. I'm done. Stride breaker, he did miss his stride breaker, but doesn't really matter. I, a, yeah. I feel like it's a Garen special. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Thinking your stride breaker is like a thousand <laughs> units and just running all crazy. It's the only you give a Garen a skill shot, he'll find a way to miss it. That's <laughs> happens to the best of us. It does. It really does. But yeah, just gonna be. Uh, Chilling there with his balance passive, you know, just healing his entire health bar in the span of 15 seconds. So 12, Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. I don't know how you pronounce your name, but says, I know the mid laner very well. A very scary player if you let him get on a roll. See, that's very good because uh, there's only one mid laner this game. So, you know, that really that narrows it down. Thank yes. you for that uh, input. I'm sure both mid laners are scary. So, uh... <laughs> getting in the Halloween spirit. Indeed. Yeah, spooky. <laughs> I'm, I'm spooked. So, curious to see which one he's talking about. I guess perhaps the question will be answered for us if we give it a few more minutes. <clears throat> I mean, hopefully you talk about the casting. I, don't think Twisted, I think Twisted Fate's already lost his uh, chance to do something crazy this game. Yeah, it's a bit hard. I mean... Like, his team's not exactly snowballed where it should be. I feel like that team kind of relies on kind of getting snowballed and getting an advantage. I, yeah. I just don't know what you do at this point. Yeah, okay. And Garen v. Cassante is... 
it's kind of uh, really boring. Uh, not, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of not going to resolve ever. Cassante just has two tank items. Garen has his cleaver, but it's just still not enough to break through yeah. Cassante. I, I think maybe if he keeps going, like, I'm pretty if sure Garen If Cassante opts to wins. fight, yeah, Garen I'm will win. Sure Garen but Cassante just... never has to opt to fight. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I say that, but how cringe yeah, is Cassante? He, yeah, he's not even popping his ult, and he's already dealing more damage than full damage <laughs> Garen. Okay, cool. Yeah, good job, Riot Games. You released another great champ. Awesome. Poor little Garen just doesn't have enough uh, lines of text on his passive to take that one out. Yep. Hmm. That's crazy, actually. Yeah, you know, what, you know what they say. Two champions face each other. Whichever champion has more lines of text per ability will win. That's true. This is nerf Cassante, too, right? Mm-hmm. Two item Garen was a two item Cassante, right? I mean, fair, but what's the point of having Garen in the game if he can't do anything? If he, a two item tank Cassante is out damaging yeah. a two item Garen, but maybe tanks are imbalanced? I don't know. Alright, and Dragonfight is gonna have in both teams locked at 40k gold even. TP coming in from Kassan, and Cassante is a little bit in no man's land. He's going to have to dash away, gets taken to nearly have He pops his ultimate game. there, so he's not going to have that for the upcoming fight. So pretty big cooldown gone. Ooh, the arrow Ash arrow does land onto the J4. This is Wani ult to follow it up. Rakan really ult, nice engage by really Rakan. Engaged, Honestly, huge play. We didn't get out of Rakan there. Uh, Kassan picking that one up, but it's just not going to be enough. The damage is too much. They're all walking forward. The Cassante buffers the Nautilus Q, gets out of there, but here comes the Nautilus ultimate. The cleanse is a little early by the Sivir, not going to be able to get out of there. Cassante is going to die. Sabrina's the J4 him. tries to clean this one up, but is it going to be enough? Sizwani getting in there, gets the knockup. The Garen is on the front lines. The damage is so close. The Sivir just barely not being able to finish him off. Gets one. Everyone's at zero HP. Twisted Fate's at full HP. Katie cleans it up. A double kill coming in. Sizwani going to have to run for her life, and there's no support. The Twisted Fate pops his ultimate. Who is he going to choose? The Ash kind of by himself. Are they going to go? He is going to go. Has the card, but that is going to be out. a little bit oh, of hubris right there. Thinking he can burst out. him down in time. Oh, but they time their abilities, get the CC down, and he gets bursted. And it will be the dragon going over, but Rakan is up already. Is he going to have enough tools to slow this one down? I doubt it. It's going to be two dragons apiece per team. And uh, yeah, what a, what a wild fight. Yeah, that was crazy. I, it was so close for either team, and I, I think Rakan actually... What the fuck, Google? <laughs> Shut your ass up. <laughs> My God. So Rakan, I think, actually kind of went crazy there. On the counter engage, Sivir was just a little bit scared to auto attack though. And then the damage follow up was just a bit lackluster. And the end is not the end, not the worst thing. They're gonna get mid push with the Sivir static shift. It's super hard to contest. Pushing into top side vision, looking to maybe pressure this Baron here as they clear out red team's wards. Nautilus walking a bit far. Rakan's gonna find him there. He's. He's a bit far from home. I don't know if yeah. he can get out of here. There's a ton of CC coming through and damage as well. Oh. Gets the Q to get out of there. And that's going to be enough. Here comes the counter engage. Cassidy is just going ballistic. He's level 16. That's going to be a problem. Pops the zone. Just waits for his team to come. And this is going to almost certainly be a kill going over. J4 will fall as well. The Q comes in and a disaster. Nautilus getting the bait. Baiting three people in. And that's going to lead to the Baron and possibly a snowball into the rest of the game. Yeah. Oh, and Cassante died. There we go. There we go. There's justice in this world. Cassante died to Garrett on a side lane. Very good. I'm happy now. All is right in the world. Indeed. So a little bit, a little bit unfortunate there. Jarvan ulted super late, uh -huh. I think. And Nautilus was actually able to buffer the hook out of it. So Jarvan just kind of had nothing to do uh they're gonna take baron here honestly huge uh, kassan is just level 16 i don't know how they possibly kill kassan at this point he's 16 and he has tabbies too yeah and he should have zonias yeah, on his about, next base exactly that it's just too much he hasn't even started building pen or rabadons or anything like that so it's only going to get worse from here he, i mean even that fight he just cleared everybody he just yeah running rampant on the back line pops a stopwatch waits for his team boom just a menace at this point I, you, they have no answer to Cassidy. yeah not at this point in the game they, unless they somehow catch him lacking and unable to press his zanyas they can't pick him off at a fight and kill him it's just impossible 
and he is three levels above the Twisted Fate. Yeah. Not great. The uh, TF pick, not looking too hot right now. Not looking like the best use of resources. I mean, 4, 4, and 6, not too bad, but at this point in the game, you're kind of an irrelevant champ, you know? Yeah. yeah. You can't exactly... He's not the same champ he was back when champions were a lot simpler. You could kind of get picks off. You do a ton of burst damage back when Lich Bane was absolutely broken out of his mind. I also think, to be honest, he hasn't really gone for that many no, picks. No, he hasn't gone for too many roams or picks or anything. Ultimate's gotten a very little use yeah. uh, compared to what I would expect that see out of a TF. Yeah. But this fight here is going to be absolutely massive for Khan, J4. But there's no damage to follow it up. Cassante's here on the back of him. He's a little bit too late. J4, flag and drags out. But Cassante is here. Silver is it's, standing still. Yeah, he's standing still auto attacking, but so is the Ash. Uh, We're gonna win one it. person died. Who's Two winning this fight? Died? No one's died. Okay, there's Kasten <laughs> picking that one up, picking up another one. And that is what? A... Oh, nice W by Rakan. It's oh, actually going to be a huge shutdown there. Yeah, huge. And Garen's going to fall as well. Bot. Yeah, Garen's flanking, but he's a bit far from the action. Can he pick this one up? The knockup is there. Gets one kill. He's about to get the other one as well. J4 trying to pick up a consolation. Not going to get there. And yeah, it was a 4v3. <laughs> they pick up a couple kills at the end. They... Go a little bit too aggressive, but they end up getting the ace, and that's going to be the end. They already have minions here. They're going to bear and buff those up and finish this game off. Or, no, they, they kind of fumbled this. They, they should yeah, just get the get the wave. Get the, end the game. There you go. They now they're going to end the game. UMass can be picking this one up. Beautiful performance by the Garen, by the Cassidy. And Cassidy got to 16. We'll show yeah. it every time it's going to happen to you. Level 16 Cassidy is a yeah. monster. It's a bit OP. I mean, yeah, the TF pick is kind of wild. Yeah, the blind not... TF is. We, uh, yeah, and that was a, you know, pretty, pretty cool game. You know, it was close for a lot of the game, you know. It was close for uh, a lot of the game. Just, when you have that casted in timer, though, and you don't really have a lot of good, reliable hard CC in order, like no point-click stuns or anything or any kind of CC chaining. Uh, yeah, Kassin's just going to run rampant in a fight, you know? Uh, yeah. once, once all your forms of, like, kiting and CC are gone, Kassin's just going to come through and clean up. It's just too yeah. hard to deal with. The Garen was a good answer for the Cassante on the side lane. Ended up being a pretty good counter pick. Uh, fought his way out of a couple of ganks, too. Really solid play by him. Yeah. Um, uh, the J4, I thought, did really well for most of the game. Cleaned up a couple fights I thought were not going to go uh, yeah. their way. But at the end of the day, they just... Yeah, it, I think team comps just prevailed at right. the end. The TF pick was a little rough. It just did not impact the game like yeah. it should have. I think in a lot of ways the the Sivir was almost a little bit bad too because yeah. the, it was just you know a little blase. You know there yeah. wasn't really there wasn't really like the best synergy to go with it almost. Yeah. You know, it's like you're not you don't really have like that kind of steamroll team comp. You kind of want with the Sivir. You know you pop ult, everyone just kind of dog yeah, piles yeah. in, kills the target. Yeah. So we're gonna take a quick break and then come back, get into the next game. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more wild, right exciting action.